pass seems quite spammy to a degree. You know, you have a lot of these um, links coming in from there. Welcome, welcome. This is Hank with Money KC. Today we will be doing a little bit of a case study of sites in the past that have done great, but they have lost their traffic. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Hank, and I am a full-time blogger and niche portfolio investor. I manage a series of websites that a lot to around 15,000 plus a month. My goal and aim for this year is to hit $20,000 in monthly income from these niche sites. So if you would like to follow me in my journey, uh, subscribe and hit that bell notification for more videos like this. So today we will be doing a little case study of sites that look great and that function um, pretty well on the surface but that has been hit by Google. And we'll dig into the depths of this a little bit. So if you have sites that you know of that has gone and maybe been hit by Google for whatever reason, please leave a comment on the description below and maybe I will come around to review it. And if you have a site that you want me to check out and review, also leave it in the comments so I can review it. So this site is called On The Yard. I believe it was a site that was a case study, and it was so, uh, sold by one of these um, one of these uh, um, SEO agency companies. Uh, so this is called On the Yard. It's a gar in the gardening niche, as you can see. They cover yard games, yard designs, gardening, animals, and yard gear. Okay, so let's let's start first. Uh, so this is how the homepage looks. It's basically very simple, just a, a bunch of articles uh, linking to the categories like this. So nicely, easily done, um, not, not complicated. And then uh, let's also check the, um, we'll check the Google speed on the site. Okay. So first of all, um, I just checked the page site speed. So if you look at it, mobile is 98%, which is amazing. So if you get rid of all the junk in the front of your page, it really yields a really fast speed, look at 198. And then I checked it also in JT Matrix. Matrix, 100%, uh, 98%. So a great way to de design and build your site is just to get rid of all the other things and just uh, make it simple by adding a bunch of um, just links to some of the content like this to simplify it uh, for speed. All right, so let's look at some of the article. Let's go to Yard Games first. So you can see how it's structured here like this. I won't click into the articles. So it contains quite a bit of information. So versus gardening. So everything seems to just be very simply made. Just, a, you know, categories and then just articles in there. Same way as the, um, the main site. Okay, and then the yard gear. So this is where the, I guess majority of the, um, the 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 buyer intent keywords are. So very much a standard affiliate type. Um, so mostly it seems like Amazon. So look very standard affiliate type site with a bunch of information and uh, so look like nicely structured too. It has FAQs and different things here. Okay, so let's just do one more sample of just information post, see how it looks. Okay, so this is the patio deck information. Yeah, it looks like a lot of wood. The way it structures is pretty good. It has topics and everything. All right, so let's look under the hood on this, you know, so also related posts on the bottom. It's a very simply designed site. And I think, I'm not sure what it's running on. Maybe just, oh, this is running on Ezoic ads. Okay, so let's look at the site. I pulled it up, uh, so not this one, but this one, on the yard.com. So as you can see, the DA, D, um, the DA is 48. So let's look at the DR. So this is HREFs. So we'll look at DR on this site. Okay, DR is 40, so that's pretty good. So DR 40 with uh, how many backlinks? 
So DR4 900, uh, 900 um, 11 backlinks and a 2216 do follow linking sites. So the websites linking to it. Okay, so let's look at this carefully. You can see traffic was pretty good through 2011. And then in December, it's kind of faltering a little bit of traffic. I think around this, there was an update in December. And then in May, uh, it's already pretty much going down from December. And in May, that's when the uh, when it hit. Another update hit and it pretty much tanked the whole site. You can see there's only maybe estimated um, 130 keywords in the top um, top searches. About 2,000. Estimated 2,000 traffic. So this number may be off, so I'm estimating this would be close to about 5,000 uh, traffic um, per, per month for this site. So for, for this site coming you know, from 70 to maybe 100,000, 100 plus thousand traffic all the way down to like no more than 2,000, that's almost like a 90% drop. So 90% drop in traffic for this site. So let's look at some of the other stats. So so this site, 57% uh, uh, US traffic, which is really good. Canadian, 11 UK, so very much targeting English speaking countries, uh, top tier countries. And as you can see, uh, the SERPs, he has some images that were highlighted and also site links. And then here's the, the distribution of uh, keywords that are ranking. So before you had almost um, at the peak, 1,400 in the top three. And then it dropped all the way down to no more than 130 in the top three. Okay, so organic distribution. So, you know, of course, you would always have uh, more on the bottom and then less on the top. So uh, based on the keyword on the searches, uh, you have um, about 68% informational, 22% uh, commercial, which is still a very good ratio. And then here are some of the top competitors. Um, so with similar keywords, so these sites probably around the same search, uh, search amount as this site. So um, we don't know exactly why it got tanked. It seems like the site is not bad the way it's designed with a good DR ratio too. So uh, let's go and do some um, traffic and um, analysis here. And then maybe at the end we'll do some keyword, I mean a backlink analysis and see if we find anything there. Okay, so looks like, so same thing, look like games and barbecues. So I'm not sure it was maybe the topics cover are too broad or something, but uh, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Okay, so let's look at the positions of these, some of these keywords it's a ranking for right now. So mostly games and barbecues. Uh, but it's kind of range, ranges from everything, see? It talks about the fields, barbecue, storage area for toys. Okay. Uh, let's look at the pages, which pages are ranking and how many pages. So about 200, roughly 280 posts that were written. And I believe these posts are written very well. So even a, a well-written site uh, can have an effect by Google, you know. So, so let's look at the top ranking page here. I'm going to open it. Let's open the top two, okay? Maybe we'll open the top three pages just to see how it looks. Okay, so this is um, so this is the first one, barbecue ideas. So that's that's a great topic to write on ideas for adults. So people always look for this kind of stuff, and he has some games. Oh, so this is a um, so this is a buy intent keyword. So which is okay, still at least making some money from it. Hopefully, um, when people click into it, these ideas. So as you can see, yeah, there's a lot here. 30, so nicely written, I believe. It's not uh, not bad the way it's structured. So Ozoic ad still running on the back. So yeah, it looks like he can, he, 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 you know, grouped it pretty well, nice spacing all around. Overall, a lot of options. And then of course, a little final thought, very standard of uh, information and affiliate type of uh, site. So same thing here, 
yeah, create, you know, the, um, this is more um, a buyer intent keyword also. So he has two buyer intent keywords that are still ranking on the top at least. Okay, so even though it's a how-to, but he somehow made it into a buyer intent. So I'm not sure that has an effect. Maybe there's, um, even though you made it a how-to, uh, but adding too many links to Amazon uh, may affect it, you know. So, so 200 pages, 80 pages, and then um, traffic has decreased quite a lot. And these... These few pages on the top, a couple of them are still affiliate, so hopefully you can still get some sale out of it. Okay, so I won't check any of these other ones. Let's look at the competitors real quick. So, okay, so some of these competitors, same thing. They don't really have that much traffic, so it seems like all these tanks are not really worth looking at. If you have a competitor with uh, tens and thousands or maybe hundreds of thousands, it may be worth checking. So these ones are all in the same kind of um, uh, situation where maybe it has tank and they're just ranking and grouping them together. Um, sometimes you want to play with the big boys, you have to have some big traffic with it. Okay, so let's look at the so let's look at the backlinks. Okay, so referring domains. So at the height is five thousand referring domains. And then now there's less referring domains. I'm not sure that has an effect. Maybe somehow. Well, actually, it did increase in referring domains too. And then also backlinks. So I'm not sure if something with the backlinks has to do with it because it looked the the way the backlinks increased a lot from um, right here uh, from December. So December backlinks started increasing. And then all of a sudden the site tanks. So I'm assuming possibly, you know, the backlinks added to it could have tanked the site. So you see a lot of these um, maybe useless and worthless backlinks that may have been added. So let's dig into a few of these and see uh, what backlinks and what anchor text is used. Okay, so we'll look at the active ones. And we'll look at the do follow ones. Okay, so niche pursuit. So niche pursuit is uh, probably gave it a lot of links. So niche pursuit might be something related to this site. So I am not sure, but it uh, looks like niche pursuit had something to do with it. So a lot of niche pursuit links from this. So a lot of niche pursuit links. Okay, so these are the zero ones. A lot of these block type posts. And we'll ignore these. Well, let's look at some higher profile links. See if anything um, sticks out. Yeah, so not too many high profile links. So like a lot of low, low uh, DRs. So let's look at the anchor text. Is something spammy or anything? So a lot of empty anchor text. Um, so it looks like go straight into the site. And then a bunch of these ones, um, I don't even know where all these are coming from. So something must have been done uh, related to these links. See, there's a lot of targeted links that come come to the site. So it seems like they did a lot of link building. So it could possibly, link building may have been a downfall. Um, and then maybe this Google perceive it as spammy. Look at this, like 100 something uh, with this to this, uh, to this one. One keyword. Yeah, so this is definitely spammy. Yeah, this targeting this one keyword of a lot of uh, different sites. So it seems like the backlink has seems quite spammy to a degree. You know, you have a lot of these. Um, links coming in from there on the, on the anchor text so hundreds hundreds of hundreds of links going to one specific keyword so yeah that's not the best practice for this kind of stuff so okay so same same here let's look at some of the websites okay let's look at some of the higher higher level ones 
So Pinterest, Linen, Bing. So these are kind of standard. SF Gate may be okay. The Zoic gave it a link. So yeah, so it seems like you know it's um, the links here are okay, but I'm kind of more concerned about the anchor text links. So many of them are, uh, seem quite um, redundant. So you see these keywords are just targeted the way it did. So it possibly could be um, linked to being spammy from Google. So, so um, anyways, possibly that's what may have led to the downfall of this site. Um, you know, it seems like DR was pretty good. Um, content was very good. So uh, my evaluation is that, you know, maybe you don't know exactly what, what may have triggered it, but there could be possible um, uh, many reasons, but I'm thinking that highest reason might be the backlink so go check out this you know this is a little case study a little uh, review actually of um, uh, this site that was tanked by uh, Google um, hopefully um, we can all learn something from this and then um, apply some principles that are uh, there to help protect and keep our site safe so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and then um, follow me for more videos like this, if you have suggestions and ideas of uh, topics that you would like me to cover and talk about in the future, let me know. So I'll be doing more of these uh, site reviews in a regular way, uh, just to you know, uh, just to help us understand how a site should be structured and what are the positives and negatives, so, uh, so that we can um, develop best practices for our business and our site. So thank you for watching, and I hope you like this video.